Tornadoes strike more in this country than any other place in the world. And Alabama ranks fourth in the nation in the number of killer tornadoes. Tonight, meteorologist Jerry Tracy presents The Fury, part two of our 13 News Extra, Tornado. Jerry? Pam, tonight we're going to give you a feel for the awesome power of these storms. We will show you what they look like and how they sound. And we will show you the incredible devastation they leave behind. National Weather Service in Huntsville. This is a major tornado. It's now moving northeast, and there have been a number of fatalities and injuries. Tornadoes, the most violent force in nature. April 3rd, 1974, the super outbreak. Four mammoth tornadoes race across North Alabama for nearly seven hours. The hardest hit spot, Ewan in Marion County. The toll, 23 dead, $7 million damage in a community of just under 2,000 people. I could see that there was nothing left, nothing. I could see uh, stumps of trees, big oak trees, about 15 feet high with no limbs whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It was just a total uh, devastation. April 4th, 1977, the last time a major tornado ripped apart a Birmingham neighborhood. The target, Smithfield. The toll, 22 dead, $15 million in damage. November 5th, 1989, the target, the rocket city of Huntsville. It strikes during rush hour traffic, laying to waste the exclusive Jones Valley neighborhood. The toll, 21 dead, $100 million in damage. To me, it seemed like it lasted a few seconds because my first thought was that this was it. It was going to keep exploding, keep destroying everything. It was like going to stay in this one place until, until we were gone, until everything was gone. But it seemed like it was over very quickly. Historically, all three of these storms make Alabama's top five list of killer tornadoes. But no tornado should be taken lightly. They range in strength from weak to strong to violent. The storm that blew Ewan off the map in 1974 made history with winds estimated at nearly 380 miles per hour. One of the worst five tornadoes to ever strike the U.S. and easily the most violent in Alabama. Listen now to the amazing sound of that storm as recorded by a Guin teenager before heading to the safety of his basement. I believe what you are hearing is the strongest wind captured on tape anywhere. Listen carefully, the trees cracking and falling, buildings exploding, the shattering of a town. A sound the people of Guin will never forget. When you see this violence, have to wonder how anything remains standing, how anyone survives. But most people do, in fact, survive when they are prepared. And being prepared is exactly what we'll talk about tomorrow night, Pam, in part three of our 13 News Extra on tornadoes. Jerry, obviously the study of tornadoes is a complicated science, but to understand the rules of safety, the rules that could save your life, that's not that hard, is They're it? They're actually very simple. The rules are very simple. We'll go, we'll go over them tomorrow night. It's not a high-tech thing at all, and for most folks, being prepared can really save their life, and that's why it's so important to know those rules. Okay, thank you very much. Back in 1932, more than 300 died in one violent outbreak. And in part three of his 13 News Extra Tornado, Jerry Tracy tells us how to survive the most violent force in nature. Gene, you know, our knowledge of these storms has really grown a lot over the years, but I think we've learned even more about saving lives during a tornado. Tornado warning is in effect. You know, with emergency, go ahead. We have spotted a tornado. This whole neighborhood has been wiped out. Houses, levels, wires, poles, and uh, power down. You better send everything you can get over here. Everything we got's rolling, 960. In the 1989 Huntsville tornado, 21 people died. Here's where 12 in cars, 4 in one story buildings, 4 in apartments and one in a mobile home. Not one victim died in the basement. The message here, simple. To survive a tornado, think low. We didn't know a lot about storm survival back in 1917. That's when one of the state's first deadly tornadoes swept through Huntsville. Death toll six. Tom Marino's grandfather died in that storm. <coughs> That's why today, this Hoover family has a tornado survival plan. Kathy and Christine, we need to go downstairs. It's a weather alert. Okay. Daddy's waiting on us. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hold on. Careful. Down we go. 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 Down we go.
girl. Come on, come on. Oh, Daddy. Come on. These girl. rules work almost every time. Yeah, Here's compelling evidence. Look at this pile of twisted rubble. It used to be an elementary school. 37 children were here when a tornado ripped the building to shreds. But not one child died. There were no long-term injuries. Their teacher made sure they all went to the lowest level. Here's how Penny Cato remembers that day. You know, the lights went out completely. And then I looked to my left. I was standing. And I looked to my left, and the window exploded. And there was a little boy. And children don't understand. When children get scared, they stand up. So children started standing up and screaming. And we started pushing them down. And I just remember screaming, cover everyone, get down and cover your heads. You too can survive a tornado. The rules are very simple. The lower you are, the safer you are in any tornado. And you can't get any lower than being underground, such as in this storm shelter here, the Todd's built after the 74 storm. In here, with concrete above you and all around you, you'd be safe in any tornado. If you don't have a storm cellar, here's what to do. First and most importantly, think low. In homes or small buildings, go to the basement or lowest floor. Think small. Seek out small rooms in the middle of the building. In schools or commercial buildings, go to pre-designated shelters, usually interior hallways on the lowest floor. Stay away from windows and don't waste time opening or closing them. Finally, if you're in a mobile home or car, get out. Seek shelter. If shelter's not available, get out and lie flat on the ground. Here's some advice from a survivor. To try to be as well informed as possible and to take it very seriously. Certainly good advice from someone who should know. Tomorrow night we conclude our 13 News Extra on tornadoes with mistaken identity. Gene, I'm going to examine the always controversial straight line winds we hear about all the time. We're going to take a trip back in time to last Good Friday in Homewood and Mountain Brook. Jerry, I cover lots of stories of tornadoes and straight line wind stories. A lot of people are confused about straight line winds. They are confused. There's still a lot of confusion in the general public. There's still a lot of confusion as to how to forecast the systems. But the important thing is to save your life, you do about the same thing. And as we'll see tomorrow night, that's very important evidence. It doesn't really mean if they're circling or going straight, it's still dangerous. The right? power of the wind is still very strong and still you must protect yourself from it. Okay. Thanks, Jerry.